And another uh, opportunity that is emerging uh, through Chinese internationalization of its currency, RMB. And as China internationalizes uh, its currency, RMB, you would notice that neighboring countries in China, Russia, Myanmar, Vietnam, and, 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 and many countries are now settling some of the bilateral trade through RMB. But we have not introduced this uh, in Bangladesh so far. And another important development as we speak is Chinese currency RMB to be included as one of the SDR currency of uh, International Monetary Fund. So this will have bigger set as far as uh, uh, you know, RMB is concerning global trade and finance. So these are the some graphs in terms of RMB internationalizations that part of the current SDR basket, where is, uh, there is no role of RMB, but from next year, there will be sizable uh, uh, share of uh, RMB in IMF's SDR basket. And, 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 the, and the bottom uh, part of the graph uh, though it's still very uh, very low, but you can see that year on year, the, in terms of foreign official foreign currency asset, international debt securities, uh, cross border payment, foreign exchange market turnover, RMB share is increasing. And this graph I found very interesting. You can see that uh, I've drawn this graph from London's Financial Times. They have shown that they have projected what would be the trade settlement. China's trade settlement uh, in the next few years with RMB and with other currencies. So about 20% of Chinese trade to be settled in Renminbi. So it will have huge implications for countries like Bangladesh. And to, to actually to create RMB liquidity, now uh, actually for quite some time, for the last four or five years, People's Bank of China, or the Chinese Central Bank, uh, are signing or have signed a large number of currency swap agreement with various central uh, banks around the world. You can see this graph shows that how how they are uh, you know forging ahead, not only in the regionally, all over the world, in signing uh, uh, you know the what we, what we call central bank to central bank currency swap, so that exporter and importers can get enough RMB liquidity on the trade products. So in doing so, I, I mean, uh, I have outlined some of the, uh, 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 you know, the initiatives. And uh, as I said, that currency swap agreement, I, I already, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, requested the governor of Bangladesh Bank that we should think about this issue very seriously, and he requested me to send a far more proposal. So I'll, I'll seek your help to give more information what's happening in Yunnan and its neighborhoods uh, in settling uh, trade in RMB. So if you can encourage the Central Bank of Bangladesh uh, taking uh, some of the initiatives to settle some China Bangladesh trade in RMB. Then you have uh, have the. Pan-Asian Stock Exchange, which is based in Kunming. An objective of this uh, initiative is to link all the regional uh, stock exchanges, including Dhaka Stock Exchange and Chittagong Stock Exchange, to raise funds uh, you know, for, for infrastructure development, for BCIM, road and belt, and so forth. And as you know that uh, now you have a new financial institutions uh, that General Munir Jaman said, the, the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. So this is going to be the new avenue for countries like Bangladesh uh, to draw more finance for infrastructure and other development. And as we speak about One Belt, One Road is, is, is the reviving of actually the Asian Sea Group. And to support this, Chinese government have a, have a, have a project uh, uh, called uh, the Silk Road Fund, which is, uh, I think, the initial endowment uh, is about 40 to uh, 50 billion US dollars. So these are the these are the uh, number of avenues that Bangladesh government, Bangladeshi businessmen uh, can explore to develop one belt, one road, BCM economic corridor, and so forth. So now, as I, as I said, that uh, this time would not be giving uh, I mean the major focus on connectivity, but a uh, couple of points I would like to highlight here is that on connectivity. As you know that we have the K2K route, 
which is uh, backed by all the countries. But uh, I've been to Chengdu recently, and I had the opportunity to uh, interact with both Chinese and Indian friends. So unfortunately, there is some disturbing development we are noticing in, 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 in this region. The development is, as you know, that China is very aggressive in developing, <coughs> developing China-Pakistan economic corridor. And India has objected it, and during the Narendra Modi's visit to China, they formally objected to Chinese authorities that part of the China-Pakistan corridor is being developed in disputed territory, Kashmir. So uh, what Chinese friend, uh, I mean, uh, informally shared with us, uh, as China is going ahead with the plan with Pakistan, now India's policy is to go slow as far as BCM is concerned. So that's why we, of course, we need to continue uh, push for K2 K2 uh, connectivity. But at the same time, we we need to actually focus on uh, you know uh, direct connectivity with Yunnan through through uh, Myanmar. And and uh, I'm doing some research on border city cooperation. When I was in Yunnan Academy of Social Science, I had the opportunity to visit what's happening in Yunnan Myanmar border, and and that mechanism, uh, which is very rich in terms of uh, in institutional development, involvement of uh, local government authorities, Dehong, uh, Musa, and all these uh, authorities. So. So we need to actually the, we, we need support from uh, Yunnan go, uh, provincial government to uh, help us uh, to open the route with Myanmar. And now I'll focus on what's happening in India-Myanmar border. As you know that uh, sorry Bangladesh-Myanmar border uh, due to Rohingya and other other uh, problem, our our uh, our connectivity has substantially curtailed in the last one decade. But uh, we can see that now, uh, I mean, as China is uh, very keen to uh, access to Bay Bengal, uh, I mean, uh, increase its presence in Chittagong and surrounding areas to infrastructure, I mean, in terms of uh, industrial cooperation, in infrastructure development. Government also, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, declined their call quite favorably, I would say. Now there is a serious plan to uh, develop uh, uh, the South Chittagong region that connect uh, Myanmar. So there is a new project, what they call Shitago to Coxbazar Marine Drive Expressway, that will cut connect Chittagong, uh, South Chittagong with the rest of the country. And, and a feasibility study for this uh, road has been conducted by a Chinese company. And, uh, and, and China is very keen to uh, finance uh, this project, which is about 3.3 uh, billion US dollars. Then government is also developing uh, three uh, roads near uh, uh, Bangladesh Myanmar border. A 24 kilometer uh, Balukhali Gundum. Gundum is in, in, the, in the Myanmar side. It's already approved by uh, uh, ECNAC, as I mentioned, that it is uh, one of the highest, uh, actually, the highest. Uh, uh, institutions in Bangladesh to approve uh, big projects, which is chaired by Prime Minister herself. And there are also serious plans to develop two other projects in Tansi, uh, Modu, Likre Road, Ali Kodam, Guamburi, Likre Road. These are the two two other other roads that will connect uh, south. I mean the the, the bordering <coughs> regions. And also, with the help of Chinese, uh, uh, I mean, the when Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina was in, in Beijing, China uh, I mean, uh, has showed keen interest. Actually, the highest authorities of China, the Prime Minister of China, uh, showed serious interest to finance a tunnel under the Kondofuli River, which is in Chittagong. I think the uh, work has already started, and Chinese government is going to finance this project as well. So we can see that. Uh, and there are also, also, uh, well, I mean, the serious uh, plans are going on to uh, uh, connect uh, South Chittagong with the rest of the country through railway. So, though the response from the, our Myanmar side is lukewarm, we hope that following uh, 
uh, the political changes that we are seeing in Myanmar, and also what we have seen in the Myanmar uh, China border or Ruli Ruli border. If we can push for that kind of opening up in uh, involving Bangladesh Myanmar border and, and Bangladesh side, we hope that eventually Myanmar uh, would, will open up as Myanmar is opening up with India, opening up with China, opening up with Thailand. I don't see that uh, they can resist not opening this side for long. So there will be pressure and Union side. We need uh, the kind of leverage the Union government has over Myanmar government. We should capitalize this to open up these things. And, and interestingly, uh, very near to Chittagong, uh, 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 there is a big project uh, by uh, Indian government and Myanmar government, what they call Kaladan Multimodal Transit and Transport Project. If you look at the map, this is actually, you know, the two. <coughs> To raise, uh, a pro I mean, uh, one of the northeast India's province called Mizoram, that has border with Chittagong. So the project is, you know, it starts from uh, Kolkata to Situe. The Situe is where already, already uh, China, Myanmar gas pipeline is. So this is the Situe. Then, if you if you can look at the Yolo. Uh, line here. That's where Myanmar, that's where Chittagong. So it's a, it's a small, a small actually uh, place that we need to connect. So if this project, you know, uh, I mean, it is under implementation now. When this Kaladan multimodal uh, project is implemented, the India will be uh, meeting China in this very. Uh, uh, Port, Situ Airport. And this Situ Airport is hardly two, three hundred kilometers away from Chittagong, South Chittagong. So if we work together, particularly Yunnan site, uh, probably we can make some breakthroughs in, in this connectivity. As I said, that our uh, BCIM connectivity, overall connectivity, that care to care it will largely depend on uh, how China and India behaves in their border. So, there are a lot of challenges, but this would be probably less challenging for us, particularly from Yunnan side, to connect Bangladesh and access to the world. So uh, this is my final slide. The way forward is nothing but what I, uh, I mentioned in different segments that, as I said, the trade potential between China and Bangladesh is huge. The numbers are uh, you know, uh, mind-blowing. And uh, I'm going to uh, work on this issue further to, uh, you know, the, create more awareness about the potential of China on the street. But as I said, that to materialize this huge trade, we need to do financial cooperation, need financial innovation. Financial innovation, financial cooperation actually is also needed. Uh, I don't have time to discuss that uh, under the Maritime Silk Group. Uh, China is also interested to develop uh, the ports and other maritime infrastructure, and for that also we need financial cooperation. So finance should be the, the new issue in China-Bangladesh relationship that uh, we need to push institutionally. We need to convince Bangladesh Bank and the People's uh, Bank of China. Already Bangladesh is a member uh, of AIIB. So if you can do some currency swap agreements, probably we can start doing some trade uh, in, in RMB. It will also actually uh, win institution for Bangladesh in the sense that we are over reliance on US dollar. So if Ch Chinese currency, you know, the emerges is a new uh, trading currency, so it, it reduces our risks as well. And on, and on connectivity, as I said that Though uh, we can't uh, ignore the care to care, we need to keep focus on uh, on this route. And I hope that there will be some breakthrough in the next joint uh, working group meeting in Kolkata. But at the same time, uh, we at BIPS actually keep highlighting that we need to work closely opening a new route through connecting uh, Chittagong and Yunnan through Myanmar. And as I said that a lot of uh, uh, border cities, as I uh, as I, as I said, that Ruli and uh, Ruli, Myanmar and China has showed in the border. Now, Kaladan multimodal projects, India and Myanmar. So we need to start something in 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 in, in, uh, 
in Myanmar, Bangladesh border, and we hope that uh, Yunnan government will, will help us uh, in this regard. And Bangladesh said, as I said, that we are we are mentally ready, and also uh, our our our, uh, our uh, different infrastructure project that I said that centering South Chittagong, uh, the works are going on. So, so hopefully that uh, we can also start uh, uh, you know the working with Myanmar government. Uh, on this. And final point is, uh, I mean, uh, you know that uh, to materialize trade connectivity, particularly with uh, the potential we have with Yunnan uh, province, we need to actually revive the sister city agreement that we have currently with Kunming and Chittagong. Uh, but one point I'd like to highlight is that in China, actually, the, uh, the mechanism is government or state-led companies are very active. Private sector is relatively poor. But in Bangladesh, it's the other way around. Here, uh, here government uh, activities is not that fast. So you need to actually involve, it is the private sector that, that drives growth. So you need to involve private sector and business communities, chambers in sister city mechanism, particularly to, uh, you know, local awareness and so forth. So with that note, uh, I will, I will uh, end here. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Shoydul Islam, for a very comprehensive and <clears throat> uh, in-depth facts and figures based presentation. So we'll go now for the second presentation by Mr. Hu Feng. Uh, he's the Vice Director Chief of Union Development Research Center Research Fellow. Uh, he's Professor on the field of ECM Corridor Construction Research, the cooperation between Union and other countries. And he's the major researcher and the person who gives the research on ECM economic construction, mid and long term plan research. And he's doing research on foreign relationship for 10 years. So I will now request him to give his presentation. Mr. Hu Feng. Honorable President, uh, Mr. Yuni uh, Uzaman, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And I'm so happy this morning just uh, to take this opportunity of the fourth uh, session of the Yunnan Bangladesh Cooperation Bilateral Forum to discuss with you just on such issues as the speeding up the construction of the Bangladesh China India Myanmar BCM economic corridor, interconnectivity, and the interworking between and the neighboring <coughs> countries and the railway construction between Yunnan uh, and China, and also the uh, Chicken and the Europe. From uh, when Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Indonesia and Kazakhstan in 2013, he respectively proposed the construction of the Silk Road Economic Belt and 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Cooperation Initiative, which has attracted the, the attention of the international community and the support of the countries along the route. And two years have passed. The one belt and one road, which had become the focus 
of the global attention and a hot topic has been widely recognized and made real progress. And as a matter of fact, that uh, the, one of the major yeah, outcome is the establishment of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Uh, so my first topic will be focused on what you can see that from this picture, that the conditions, the yeah, premises of the speeding up of, of the establishment of the uh, BCIM economic corridor, uh, actually it become very uh, mature right now. As a matter of fact, that the recognition for this BCM economic corridor has been widely recognized and popularized all over the world, and it represents uh, to some extent that the people to people communications are deepened in those areas. From the Chinese the geopolitically uh, speaking, that the results of the frequent high-level visits are actually fruitful between China and South Asian countries, especially between China, India, and Bangladesh. The Bangladesh and India have properly resolved the historical border problem that has existed for over 40 years. And India, Myanmar, and also Thailand are scheduled to sign a cross-border transport facilitation agreement, that is the CTFA, on April 2016. All of this indicates the increasing political and mutual trust between these nations and the continuous improvement on the environment of the regional cooperation. From the perspective of economic and the trade yeah, uh, uh, needs, the trade between China and South Asia countries, especially China and Bangladesh, have maintained a high growth momentum in recent years, which has exceeded 12.5 billion US dollars in 2014. China has become Bangladesh's largest trading partner, and Bangladesh has become China's third largest trading partner in South Asia. Actually,啊，这个数字每年这个百分之二十的速度增长。那么从二零零八年以后啊，没有在世界各地没有几个地区的贸易增长能够超过百分之十。应该说这是两国关系的一个亮点。and besides, this figure is growing at a rate of 20%. After the year 2008, there are few areas with whose road, uh, especially the trade growth, can be more just increased by the growth of the 10%, which is a highlight in the relationship between the two countries. But the two countries are the same as the two countries and the two countries are the same as the two countries. So, the two countries are the same. However, compared with the huge population and economic aggregates of the two countries, there is still a huge space for trade and development between China and Bangladesh. The establishment of the land connectivity cannot only 
promote bilateral and multilateral trade between China, Bangladesh, and other South Asian countries, but also provide a stronger support from the future development of trade needs. From the technical side, 中国目前的铁路技术已经相当成熟，具有一流的国际竞争力，能够提供全方位的技术支持。From the technical perspective of view, China's current railway technology has been quite mature and internationally competitive, which can provide a full range of technical support. 从资金投入看，中国主主导的亚投行呢，明年即将投入引擎，把资本投入到。对各国都有利的基础设施，应该说是顺理成章的选择。And also from the capital investment perspective, to build the AIIB, the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank, which is led by China, will be run also very soon. So it is a logical choice to invest the capital into the construction of the infrastructure, which is beneficial to all countries. 从现有的交通现状看。从现有的交通线状况呢，这个目前呢，呃，印度和孟加拉呢两国的铁路网呢已经具有相当规模，呃，那么呃，孟加拉国呢现在有九条铁路和印度相通，从达卡呢每周都有这个三趟列车呢开往加尔各答，同时呢，孟加拉国也正在修建从基大港到霍克斯巴扎尔的这个铁路，那么这些到这这条铁路呢，距离缅甸的交票呢也比较近。因此呢，抓住有利时机，加大推进力度，顺势而为，梦中一缅经济走廊的交通干线前前狂冲，应该是指日可待。For current tra-、uh, transportation situation, the Indian Bangladesh Railway Network has also formed a consolidated, consolidated and a considerable scale. The construction of the Indian Railway is also has expanded to the western border of China and India. Nine railways are on. Um, Linked, uh, interlinked between Bangladesh and Indian, there are three trains bound for Calcutta from Dhaka every week. Bangladesh is building the railway from Chittagong to Kaksbada, which is relatively close to Kyopra, Myanmar. Therefore, we need to seize the favorable opportunity to increase the efforts of promotion. The link between the BCM economic corridor traffic route will be just around the corner. Uh, 周边国家合作关系，推进梦中一缅经济走廊，呃，云南省政府发展中心，呃，牵头有关部门参与，那、呃、么和这个外交部共同呢，这个完成了梦中一缅经济走廊互联互通建设中长期规划研究。We want to deepen the friendly and cooperative relations with our neighboring countries. Yunnan Development and Research Center, the YDRC, in short, spearheaded the medium and the long-term planning study on the interconnectivity and the interlinking construction of the BCIM economic corridor. 那么我们通过这个研究啊，提出这个要立足沿线各国交通基础设施。现有的条件以及亚洲公路网和泛亚铁路网的发展布局，以骨干铁路、公路、水运、航空为基础，以沿线中心城市为支撑，以重点的经贸产业园区为平台，以口岸城镇为节点呢，来构筑梦中一缅经济走廊的这个交通干线，就是我们提出来的南线、中线和北线的交通运输通道。In the study, we noted that the interconnectivity and the construction of the BCM economic corridor should be based on the transportation infrastructure conditions of the countries along the route and the development of the layout of the Asian highway network and the trans-Asian <coughs> railway network. We also need to build the transport channel of the BCIM economic corridor, south line, middle line, and north line based on the main highway, railway, waterway, and airlines, the support of the central cities along the route, the platform of the key economic and trade industrial parks, and the nodes of the port towns. We have three options. One is the north option. From Kunming, to Jing, Dali, Baoshan, to Ruidi. We propose three major transport channels. 出境以后呢，经这个缅甸纳逊、曼德勒
继续向西南，到角漂，经孟加拉国基大港，到达卡，最后到达这个印度的这个加尔各答。We propose the target which we want to achieve before 2030, a Bangladesh-China-Indian uh, Myanmar BCM economic current network will be basically formed, uh, which will be based on putting China to the eastern end of Calcutta, India as the west end, Mandalay, and also the uh, built Kino of Myanmar, Dhaka, and Chittagong of Bangladesh and other major cities and forces, Kinos. And for the southern line, as a matter of fact, it takes about 2,612 kilometers in total, and it linking the number one Asian road with the number 40 and the connecting to the number 41. 第二呢，那是对缅甸和孟加拉国经济发展带动作用强大。And second also, it will just also try to enhance the Myanmar and also the border of the Bangladesh. 该线路的缅甸中部，孟加拉国沿线地方人口和经济的集中度比较高，旅游胜地比较多，而且覆盖面，呃，覆盖缅甸和孟加拉的远海地区。Uh, it has a strong impact to the economic development of the Myanmar and Bangladesh. This route goes through central Myanmar and Bangladesh, where there is a high concentration of population, economy, and more, more tourist attractions. Also, uh, thirdly, that uh, this route covers the coastal line of the Myanmar and Bangladesh, favors mm -hmm. the layout of the industry and the expansion of the openness of the coastal areas. And the terrain uh, here geographically is not so difficult. It's very flat, and the less investment will be required. The construction will be less difficult, and it's very convenient for the implementation of the scheme. Uh, 在修建打通这条南线的时候呢，很多问题都可以通过双边的合作率先解决。And also, uh, one the uh, another uh, advantage is that the main issues can be solved through bilateral cooperation. 当然了，这条路线呢也有一些也存在一些这个这个问题吧，比如说，呃，这个方向呢对印印对印缅甸、孟加拉、中国呢三国呢。那对缅大的印度东北带动和辐射力比较弱，所以可能起的印发的知识呢比较困难。Of which may be hard to get the support uh, from the Indian side. Uh, 另外在这个区域呢, 可能还有一些, 比如说民族问题, 比如说在缅甸这个做开发, 之间, uh, further to that, there will be also some of the divergence between Myanmar and Bangladesh on the issue of the Rohingya, the Rakhai uh, state border. Our中线方案是昆明出发 经过瑞丽、缅甸、乌杰、拉旭，经过曼德勒之后呢，那么这个到达卡勒德穆、莫雷，最后进入英帕尔、呃席尔杰尔、卡仁甘提，最后呢这个通过苏达甘迪、希
Mabuse of the Myanmar and Lashu of Myanmar medley and the color a table uh, uh, of the Myanmar, just uh, also through the Mori of Indian, Impel, a seal chart of Indian, as well as Karen uh, Gamji and the Minnesota Gamji, Bangladesh group, to the seal hat, Dhaka, and the Jesso, Binap, and the Pitrak, uh, finally to Kepala as the final destination. This梦中印缅四国已经基本达成共识那么同时呢第二一个优点是什么呢这条线路现在已经通过一三年的这个梦中印缅四国首届的集结汽车赛那么已经走过一遍应该说这条路线除了那么部分路段还需要这个继续完善之外呢，应该说整个这条路呢，基本上已经是连通了。After from the some uh, uncomplete uh, part for this road connectivity, we can see that uh, this uh, advantage is very obvious for this central line because um, first of all, the first DCM the car rally race was held just along this route, which has uh, basically formed a smooth road network. And secondly, this route is not only the basis of the consensus of the four countries, but also the basis of the proposal of BCM economic corridor. And thirdly, the route basically goes along the same direction with line one and line fourteen of the ancient highway network plan. But we do have some disadvantage for this centralized scheme. First of all, the economic and social development along this route is relatively slow and the basis is weak. And the driving ability for the construction of this road for the regional development is far less satisfactory than the South Southern Line scheme. Uh另外一个补充是缅甸境内的曼德勒到卡勒印度境内的英帕尔到席尔杰尔的路况比较恶劣而且呢其中的印度的这个英帕尔段的多为山地也存在一些民族问题。And first to that the road conditions in uh, in Mandalay and the color of Myanmar, in Peru and the Sierra of India are extremely bad. Moreover, the part of the Imperial is covered with mountains and has a severe situation of ethnic division. And for the northern line scheme, we start from Kunming, where uh, Tenchong, Baoshan, and then to the Gam ID of Myanmar, uh, meet, meet, meet China, Myanmar, Lado of Indian, uh, Logo Indian, uh, uh, Sri Long, and Seal Hat, Bangladesh, to Dhaka, and Bangladesh and to the Jesso of Indian and the Calcutta as the final destination. Uh,在我们和印度,呃,这个东北部,呃,各班一些这个智库人士交谈当中,他们也是比较这个这个,呃,渴望,就是这个尽快,能不能这个尽快打通这条路。那么这条路呢,实际上是在历史上的这个史,
这个我们现在在现有的这个条件之下呢，优先修建，优先打通这个南线，优先打通南线。那么，呃，当然了，我们我们这个这个也也也也希望有四国共识的中线能够加快推进。And just under a uh, specific uh, study, uh, we just proposed these three schemes from the north, central, and the south line. And we prioritize uh, the southern line to just initiate as a good start. And of course, we also hope that we can also push forward the central line. This is the first question. Second, I want to introduce you to 以周边国家的交通圆通的一个基本的一个现状。And that is the first topic I want to discuss with you. And also next, I'd like to also share some of the experiences with the interconnectivity between Yunnan and our neighboring countries. 那么到目前为止啊，这个云南，呃，全省的公路通车里程是二十三万公里，高速公路的里程已经超过了四千公里。By the end of 2014, the road traffic mileage in Yunnan province has reached about 230,000 kilometers. Highway traffic mileage has reached more than 4,000 kilometers. 铁路呢有两千六百二十八公里，目前有十二个机场和这个开通国际和地气航线四十四条，国内航线是两千是两百七十五条。And the operation of the railway mileage is about 2,600km。呃，kilometers，and one is from the Baoshan Tenchong, and of the Hoja Port exit into Myanmar, Gambadi, Mitch Ina, and Wali Wago Highway. The other one is the Jiegao, the Jiegao to Mujie, to Lashi, to Mandala. And another one is actually from the we can really port exit into Myanmar News, Lashu, Mandalay Highway. And also, the third route is starting from the Lingtang, uh, Mandi, uh, Qingshui River port exit into the uh, Myanmar, Nando, Lashu, Mandalay Highway. And the fourth is from the uh, Dalo port of Qishuanpanda uh, exit into the uh, Minali, the east branch road of Myanmar. Let's let me show you the road. The road is the Zhongnaoke road, Zhongtai road, and it is already completed. And uh, also, I'd like to introduce you about the uh, construction of the uh, Sino Laos Sino Thai Highway. Zhongnaoke路的这个老挝境内段是从墨丁到万象，那么全长是四百一十八公里，已经在这个月的四号开工。as a matter of fact, I have to uh, correct, it's a railway, so it's not a highway. And the construction of the China Laos Railway and the China Thailand has started. The last session of the uh, Sino Laos Railway, it starts from the Boten to Vientiane, 418 kilometers, has started to construct on the December 4th. <coughs> 中线的这个国际大大铁道的这个国际呃铁路大通道的一个中断。This railway uh, of the uh, uh, Sino Laos uh, actually connected from uh, with China uh, of the Yishimohan railway to the northern end and the Thailand Nongkai uh, Machu 
extend the railway to the south end, which together constitute uh, the Pan Asia Railway Network. <coughs> 那么，这个中泰铁路是十二月十九号开工，设计时速是一百八十公里，它将全部采用中国的技术标准和装备。应该说，中老泰铁路的开工建设对于带动这个区域的经济快速发展具有重要意义。The construction of the China Thailand railway started on December 19th, and its total length is about 845 kilometers. The design, the speed is 180 kilometers, and it will only use Chinese technology, standards, and equipment. The construction of this railway is of great significance to promote the rapid development of the regional industrial economy. Uh, 加入了大美工和自己货物及人员跨境运输便利化协定。And uh, let me just share also with uh, you about the current situation of the cooperation transportation between Bangladesh, China, India, and Myanmar. In the year 2002 and 2003, the China and Myanmar respectively joined the GMS agreement. In short, and the full uh, name is the Greater Maximum Sub-Regional Cargo and Personal Personnel,Cross-Board,Transportation,Facilitation,Agreement。目前呢,中老越减四国已经完成GMS变应协定在国内的法律程序。但是泰国和缅甸尚未完成。我们国家呢,主要是通过这个商签,谅解备忘录的
。双方呢还商定尽快组织四国专家进行实地考察，本着先联通再提高的原则，逐步完善工作的复量复通。